Hey everyone. Whenever I build Excel dashboards and share them online, I get a similar comment. Hey Josh, this is cool, but why would you build this in Excel instead of Power BI or Tableau or Data Studio or Looker or ClickSense or one of a million other BI tools that people prefer to use? And the answer to that has a few core parts. The first being that Excel is ubiquitous. Most people have used it before. Most people have been trained on it. It is integrated into most organizations and they have access to it already. And what that means is that the barrier to entry to build a first version of a dashboard is a lot lower than having to learn a new tool, a new system, or having to custom code a new custom dashboard. That can go a long way just for getting momentum on a project and getting it off the ground. Um, if even Power BI, which is a Microsoft product and very similar to Excel, still has a pretty steep learning curve. And most people just don't have the time to put in to do something like that. So that's just the practicality element, but there's also an element of this that has to do with dollars and cents. I have worked on big custom dashboard projects in the past. I've worked on projects for Google and Lego and Gatorade and lots of big brands. And one thing I know is that custom dashboard projects can be incredibly expensive. And that a lot of that, that expense can come from people just not knowing what they're getting into when they start. And there's a lot of pitfalls you can fall into. So one of the best ways to avoid that is to start by building your first version with a little less overhead, with a little less investment in a system like Excel that you already know how to use. So you're not bringing on a bunch of developers and data scientists, you can kind of do it yourself just to prove out the concept so that you can get the buy-in you need to do a bigger project. So what does that mean in like, in a practical sense? A lot of people just assume there's a magical big table of data like this sitting somewhere with all of their data perfectly formatted exactly the way they want. But in real life, it's not like this. Data is being manually entered into systems it's being reported from different locations, different ways, with different headers and different everything. And actually building the visualizations you want, actually getting the metrics you want, can be really difficult uh, and sometimes impossible. And if you uncover that early on in an Excel dashboard, it's a lot less expensive than it is if you discover that later on in a custom project that you've invested tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars in. You want to find out early. You don't want to find out later. So those are the two big ones. If you're building a dashboard, if you're building a first version, try doing an Excel. If you look at this, you might say, Josh, I'm not good at Excel. I can't do that. That's crazy. It's not as crazy as you think. These are standard features. There's no custom coding. There's no plugins. There's nothing fancy. I'm using pivot charts. I'm using metrics and I'm using shapes, the insert shape feature to build all of this stuff. It's stuff you probably already know how to do. You've probably done before. You just haven't thought of using it in this way. So if you want to learn this stuff, the easiest way is to look at sample dashboards, somebody else's example, and start pulling it apart and looking at how it's built. You can Google sample dashboards, find examples online, or you can join my email list. I've got a link below somewhere. And I send out examples like this, little tutorial examples, every week, every two weeks, every month or so, so that people can start to do that themselves and understand how these things are built. It goes a long way taking the time to learn that skill. It's not as hard as you think. It's easier than learning an entirely new platform, and it will serve you really well if you use Excel a lot in your job. So anyway, check it out. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you're working on. If you have anything you want to you know, tell me about or questions, uh, Hit, hit me up in the comments below. I'll, I'll take the time to respond. You can also reach out to me directly through the website. Um, and thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you taking the time. Um, I will be posting more, going into a little bit more depth about the mechanics of how these things work um, with more specific examples and also more uh, deeper thoughts on who should be using Excel for their first versions of their dashboards and why. So thanks so much, everyone. Have a good one.